What's going on people, Switchbrew here and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now firstly I'd like to apologise that I haven't uploaded recently, I've been a bit busy with work so I haven't been able to upload. So yeah, let's get started on this video. Now basically in this video what I'm going to be showing you is how to protect your Switch from getting banned in 2023. So the first thing is, if you modify a Switch, whether it be a V1, a V2 console, a Switch Lite or an OLED console, the first thing that you'll ever come to is Hakate. Now in Hakate, I would recommend straight away making an EMU MMC. Basically what this is, is it's a backup of the stock firmware, so to speak, and it basically switch, uh, splits sorry, your Nintendo Switch in half, so to speak, so it's like a dual boot system. So you can switch between stock firmware and uh, custom firmware. This basically just keeps the two segregated from each other and helps um, prevent bans. So when you come to modify your switch and you get into Hakate, for example, if I just jump over to Emu MMC here, as you can see, you've got a button here what says Create Emu MMC, and under Emu emu mmc tools and selection here as you can see it says enabled and like i say it basically makes you switch like a dual boot system where you can switch between the stock firmware and the custom firmware to prevent bands some people like to um have basically sysnand um set up which is custom firmware on the systems nand but i highly don't recommend this i recommend that you keep the two segregated so yeah that's the first thing i would recommend doing so what we're going to do now is we're going to jump over onto the PC and I'm going to show you some other methods that you can use to be able to keep your switch safe. So what we'll do now is jump over to the PC and I'll see you on that side guys. Peace. So guys as you can see we're now on the computer and I have got a folder here which contains both DNS, MITM and Exosphere. Now, if you want to put these on your Nintendo Switch to help protect your console, what you'll want to do is go ahead and connect the Nintendo Switch to your PC via a USB-C cable, or you can take the memory card out and put this in your PC also. It is entirely up to you. So what I've done is I have plugged a USB cable, obviously, into the bottom of the Switch console and into my PC. I'm currently sat in Hecate, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to Tools, I'm going to press USB tools and then I'm going to go ahead and press SD card and this should mount my switch to the computer. And as you can see, the window has popped up for my Nintendo Switch. So what I'm going to do now is head over into the DNS, MITM and Exosphere folder and you're going to pre be presented with this. So I'm going to head over into DNS MITM or MITM first of all and you will have these two folders and an NRO file. So with the two folders, as you can see, one is for Emu NAND or Emu MMC and one is for SysNAND. So if you are running an Emu NAND, obviously you would go into this folder. If you are running custom firmware on your SysNAND, you would go into this folder. However, like I said previously, I highly would not recommend running um, custom firmware on your SysNAND, but that is entirely up to you. So. Basically, because I'm, like I said, I'm running an Emu MMC, I'm going to head over into the Emu NAND folder. And on the actual Switch's SD card itself, I'm going to go into the Atmosphere folder. And in here, you should have a folder called Hosts. If you do not have a folder called Hosts, you can simply right, cl right click, create new folder, and call the folder hosts so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and go into this folder and as you can see i've already got the emu mmc.txt file in there however just for the purpose of this video i'll go ahead and replace this and go ahead and click yes so that's basically dns mitm placed on the console that's basically it there's nothing else that you need to do however to prove this is working what we're going to do is go back on the sd card and go back to the root of the sd card we're then going to find the switch folder we're then going to go back in this folder and drag the switch underscore 90 dns tester into the switch folder on the sd card so now what we're going to do is we're going to head over onto the Switch console and we are going to test that this is working. So bear with me guys, I'm going to put my Switch into its dock and we'll switch over to the console. So 
so guys as you can see we're now on the nintendo switch console and what i'm going to do is go ahead and head over to the main menu and then i'm going to head into the albums folder which is this icon on my nintendo switch i'm then going to go ahead and go to the 90 dns testing utility and go ahead and press the a button and what that's going to do now is, as you can see on the screen, it's showing all the Nintendo addresses that have been blocked. And if these are all in green, you know that you have done this uh, correctly. If it's in any other color, such as red, or I think it's an orange color, I may be wrong, but I think it's red actually, uh, you know that you've done something wrong. But as you can see, all the Nintendo servers are now blocked. So you know this is fully working. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and press B to exit the following application. And that's just going to chuck me back to here. I'm going to go ahead and press the home button and go back to the switches dashboard. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump back onto the PC and plug in my Nintendo Switch once again. And what we're going to do now is put the Exosphere on the console. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to jump back onto the PC and I'll see you guys over there. So once again, we're back on the computer. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put Exosphere on the Nintendo Switch console. So right now my Nintendo Switch is sat in Hecate with the USB cable plugged into the PC and into the bottom of the Switch. So what I'm going to do again is just head over to Tools, USB Tools and SD card and this should mount it to my PC. And there you go, once again it's mounted the Switch to my computer. So what you want to do now is open the DNS, MITM and Exosphere folder like so and what we're going to do now is head over into exosphere and as you can see once again you've got exosphere for the emunand or you've got exosphere for the sysnand so depending on how you run your custom firmware will depend on which folder that you need to go into so i'm going to head over into the emunand um, folder and as you can see here there is an exosphere ini and all you're going to do with this is simply grab it and drag it into the root of your Nintendo Switch SD card. Once you've done that, that's Exosphere placed on the Nintendo Switch console. There's no way of really testing this, however, it's been around since um, Atmosphere was created, so everybody knows that it works. So that's on there now. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and close this down. I'm gonna close this down. And I'm going to go ahead and eject the Nintendo Switch console. Now that's been ejected, we are pretty much done with everything. We have installed DNS MITM and we have tested that it's blocking the Nintendo Switch servers, which it is. And we've also put Exosphere on the console. So that is pretty much three different ways on how you can keep your console protect protected against the um, Nintendo Switch servers. I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video. If this has helped at all, please subscribe, give the video a like and press the bell notification to find out when I'm uploading new videos. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.